What is happening, Magnusites? <laughs> I don't know who this dude is, right? So in my searches before I did this video, I had to, I had to find something. I had to find something. So I'm looking like what videos are going to be best to do this. In my travels, I often come across clips and stuff that I never talk about. This I'm going to talk about. I thought that this was hilarious. Just, it's just pure ugliness. And I see that ugliness on the inside. I see it on the outside. You know, even in, in, in the horrible circumstance where an abortion may happen, it is nothing to celebrate and it is nothing to cheer. Mm -hmm. Is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. <laughs> Yo, I was like, I like him already. Straight shooter, just like Tom Homan and just like President Trump. I got to see what this dude is all about. So he is the pick for attorney general. And I saw the Young Turks. I think it was the Young Turks making fun of him earlier. For hitting somebody with an axe <laughs> by accident, doing some axe throwing thing on the news. All right, we've got another Trump appointment, and this is one that is probably going to surprise a lot of people um, because he was not on any of the lists that were floating around out there. And there had been some discussion that um, President-elect Trump was having trouble making this final His decision. His haircut is uh, perfection. The person he had in mind all along. It looks like he's but wearing he it. Now nominated <laughs> Florida Congressman Matt. Remember them old uh, Doracell commercials where they had that plastic family? They were like a toy family. They ran on batteries. Go look them up. Like toy family battery commercial. Look at the hair. It reminds me of that. Gates as attorney general of the United States. He just wrote this on okay. social. Quote, Matt is a deeply gifted and tenacious attorney trained at William and Mary College of Law. Distinguished himself in Congress through his focus on achieving desperately needed reform at the Department of Justice. Few issues in America are more important than ending the partisan weaponization of our justice system. Matt will end weaponized government, protect our borders, dismantle criminal organizations, and restore Americans' badly shattered faith and confidence in the Justice Department. So um, we're going to get some folks on the okay. phone reaction to this. Fortunately, we still have Steve Hilton with us. Um, Steve, you know, we have been... Yeah, because Americans don't trust a lot of stuff going on right now kind of looking at a different people that we had heard were in the mix for this position and no doubt this is a surprise to a number of them who thought they were in the running your thoughts well, well the first reaction was wow <laughs> president-elect trump is really going for it i mean this is a very very strong appointment um and exactly as he said in his statement all, the, all those things he said about matt are absolutely true i'd like to add something that our audience may not know about matt case because of course he's so familiar as a, as a firebrand, I think it was his book even called Firebrand. I think he's, he's called himself that, and a bomb mm. thrower politically. But actually, he's very, very smart on policy. I got to know that when I'd have him as a guest on my show over the years. I remember the very first time he came on my show, we had him on for a particular topic, and during the break, I asked him about the next thing that we were going to discuss. It was a completely unrelated topic. And he immediately came out with some incredibly smart policy-based observations that was so impressive. And I said, great, join for that discussion as well. And I've stayed in touch with him over the years. He's very smart. He knows policy. He's a serious guy. He doesn't always necessarily show that because he goes for the jugular politically. Um, but it's wrong to dismiss him. Well, I saw him go for the jugular in that clip. I know that. As just a political firebrand. He's much, much more than that. There's a depth to him that doesn't always come across. You know, I, I think that what can be said about a lot of these picks, Steve, is that they will definitely cause all of the people, whether it's at the Pentagon or the Department of Justice, yes. they are sitting up straight in their chairs right now wondering what this is going to be like. I'm just picturing Matt Gates, if he is confirmed, walking into the Department of Justice for those big 
get-togethers that they have with new leadership and what the reaction is going to be. And I'm guessing that you will probably have some people who say, I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to stick around for that chapter. Yes, and he would probably say, good. Um, but, <laughs> but exactly as we were discussing, I believe it. this is what the country <laughs> voted for. Mm -hmm. It was a clear victory, a decisive victory. And this is what um, Donald Trump was saying all the time in all the rallies. It was made, uh, specifically in this particular area where Matt Gates will now play a leading role about the weaponization of our justice system. And again, let's go back to the point. The insiders and the establishment will say, this is how, how could you do this? This is completely appalling. Well, how well have they been doing running things? It's been a complete disaster. Merrick Garland's been a disaster as Attorney mm. General. Yes, he's very qualified. He's a kind of establishment guy, was previously nominated as a Supreme Court Justice, etc., etc. But on his watch, the, the confidence of the public in our justice system has completely collapsed. And so the, even on the base level, you could say, well, how much worse could it be? But I think it's going to be much better than that. Because you, and the, the phrase you used earlier, I think, is such an important one. It's a brilliant phrase that captures the energy here. A reform jolt. That is what's needed. Hmm. That's what is needed right across the hmm. government. A real yeah. shake up. And you're only going to get that I got you there, people buddy. who are incredibly clear in what they think and will lead in people a very like, clear direction. Some that's may a not jolt like right it, there. That's what people voted for yeah. last week. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think Mary Catherine Ham just brought up the exit poll. Um, our Fox News voter analysis significant upheaval. People who said yes. they wanted significant upheaval in the way that the government is run. I think people mm. are so sick and tired of, you know, watching how much it costs, how many of their yes. tax dollars are spent mm. and not seeing huge results for that in terms of a, a stronger country, a country that's more efficient, where, you know, our intelligence is the absolute best, our justice system is the absolute best. Um, so very interesting. Um, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of people who are not too happy today who, you know, man, it just sounds like a huge overhaul going on, man. This is, oh man, I'm so interested and giddy to see what continues to happen. That they were in the running for this spot, but that's life. That's the way it goes. And um, this is his pick. So we'll see how it goes moving Absolutely. forward. See, thank you. Very All right. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> well, I know he's a straight shooter and Trump picked him, so. You want to trust Trump on this? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this pick. Any details I need to know. You know what I mean? Help me out there. 10 million subscribers. Whoa.